Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel, Yushi Talks. And today we are talking about ex-Army General Gary Woleski, who was suspended for mocking Jill Biden with you finally know what a woman is comment on Twitter. We have more details. Please continue to watch this video. Retired Lieutenant General Gary Woleski was suspended for his response to the tweet posted by floaters Jill Biden in support of women's abortion rights in the country. Condemning the Supreme Court's verdict that overturned the much-celebrated Roe v. Wade on June 24th, the First Lady on Twitter said that after 50 years of women being able to exercise their bodily autonomy, women's rights had been stolen. In response, the former Army spokesperson ridiculed, saying, Glad to see you finally know what a woman is. Gary Woleski, who, is, who has retired in 2020 as a lieutenant general, also previously served as the Army's public affairs chief during his career that spanned 36 years. His lucrative position as a mentor, which paid him $92 per hour to advise military leaders, troops and students who were taking part in war simulations and other similar activities has now been terminated by the commander of the military branch's combined arms center, Lieutenant General Theodore Martin. The Guardian reports that the controversial tweet no longer appears in the uh, in his account. However, uh, there, uh, there are people who have already taken screen share of it and many people are pouring their emotions on Twitter. Some are backing him up and some are not liking it. Some uh, One of them said, just how woke is the U.S. Army? It suspended Lieutenant Gary Woleski for asking floaters Dr. Biden a legitimate question. In other words, her and the rest of the Democrats only know what a woman is when it's convenient for them. Otherwise, it's a birthing parent or some other nonsense. An Army spokesperson stated that commander of the military's branches combined arms center, Lieutenant General Theodore Martin, suspended Woleski. According to USA Today, he is now the subject of an inquiry to see whether the reportedly inflammatory tweet violated the decorum guidelines for retired military personnel. That's all we have in today's video. Please continue to watch this space for more informative news and let me know in the comment section of what you think of this. Thanks for watching us. You have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.